Hi, welcome to 100 days UI series. Today is the day 7 and the challenge is to design setting page. So let's start. First we need to select frame and from the preset let's select desktop preset. Okay, next let's rename this. And uh, go to fill and from the fill let's choose this dark color. So I have already provided the color code. So you can also use the same color code if you want. On the prepick side I have searched for the game background and uh, let's select free. And I found these images which is looking great. Okay so now I have already downloaded the image so I will place it here. In the artboard let's resize this. Something like this. Okay. Next thing we need to add fill color. So again for the fill let's choose the same dark color. And let's drop the opacity to 80%. Now we need to add a frame again. So for this we need to select frame from the toolbar. And let's go to the preset. We will choose this small preset Macbook Air. And uh, let's place it inside the main preset something like this okay let's duplicate this frame and for the height let's choose 250 for this frame let's resize this and for the left one let's choose this dark color and for the right one let's update the color so use the first color will be this light color and the second color let's choose this purple Now let's select this frame and go to the corner radius. So we will leave it 0 for the right side. Let's make it 40 and 40. Same for the left sidebar. Okay, so let's select the main frame and update this color. I think it's slightly light. So let's make this one dark and the top one, let's make it pure purple okay next let's go to the blending mode and for now let's choose plus lighter and go to effects add effects add background blur and make it 50 next thing we need to add drop shadows let's make it 0 and 50 let's also make this overlay let's again add inner shade and for the inner shade let's make this light make it zero let's make it 50 and uh, let's choose the overlay for the blur let's try 100 okay, let's see if 50 is looking good we will make it 25 add stroke make it inside and let's see if we can make it white make it overlay for the opacity let's try 75 think let's make it 50 percent so same thing for the left side let's add title of the page so for this we need to select type tool so let's type first we need to increase the size so let's use 40 and for the type i'm going to use this font nico moji so you can also search for this font select the title and uh, here we just need to add some spaces so let's try 10 I think 20 and let's change the case to uppercase go to effects and drop shadow let's make it 0 for the blur let's try 20 make it 100 and let's use this light color 
and a glow effect I think let's make it 25 and uh, I think this effect will work plus lighter so let's use this for the sidebar let's choose the text tool and type and let's make it 20 and also 20 okay now convert it to auto layout and let's choose star tool make it four sided and let's make 24 is okay so let's place inside the auto layout shape now let's add fill color and first we need to add some padding on the left hand right side let's make it something like this okay for the height let's make it 24 for now for the fill color let's choose let's reduce the fill something like 50 percent add stroke first let's leave it 100 percent inside the stroke let's use this light one and let's see if it is always working okay so for this first color let's drop the opacity also let's make this one light let's select both go to effects and make the y zero let's make it 50 let's try to use the same color and let's see 20 for the second one let's remove the fill and for now just turned off the fill also we don't need the icon okay so now let's reduce the opacity to 50 percent 75 percent for the right side let's select the frame and uh, we will type type we will use nets so this is very geometric font so let's use this one now let's select polygon shape let's create polygon shape it let's see if 24 is working yeah 24 is working so let's rotate this let's duplicate the type let's convert it to auto layout add first add fill let's choose this dark color and for the type we will use nico for the left and right let's make it 32 and for the top let's make it 16 let's use 99 to make it fully round okay and let's select duplicate this shape and flip horizontal let's select these three shapes and create auto layout center let's use 32 and for the left and right let's make it zero let's select the graphic one create auto layout from this let's center line add fill for the left and right and for the top and bottom let's add 60 make it round and let's drop the opacity to 25 percent think let's increase it to 32 center line now let's add stroke make it inside let's make it white use overlay opacity i think 
let's try 50 and uh, let's add go to effects and inner shed let's make it white and for the blur let's use 10 for the while let's make it 5 so that it can be easy for us okay let's drop the fill color 75 and for the type let's go to effects drop shadow make it 0 some glossy effect okay and let's drop the arrow make it 75 make it center line and let's use pex width duplicate this let's use 8 by 8 so let's see two, three. select these and let's remove the space so i think 16 is good for the second row let's okay so let's fix this first we need to make it auto and for this we need to make it fixed width and also make it fixed width because the type which we are going to type the text so now let's select rectangle tool draw a rectangle let's make it to 500 and for the height let's use 5 let's make it white make it fully rounded now let's duplicate and first we need to drop the opacity to 50 percent for now and uh, let's duplicate this and first thing we need to reduce the height to 50 and let's make this 100 actually we are creating a progress bar so let's select rectangle again let's rotate this to 45 degree make it let's try 24 now make it white let's try 10 let's center line it now let's create some cuts so let's try one in the center one here and also one here let's try to use white let's group this okay and now let's select ellipse draw an ellipse let's make it center now let's select ellipse update the color let's use linear gradient first one is dark and the second one is purple let's add stroke inside let's make this white and use overlay i think let's use two okay something like this now let's add effects drop shadow and make it zero for the blur let's use 50 let's make it 100 and for the color let's use this golden color okay let's update this let's try 20 and for the blending mode let's choose color dodge let's duplicate this let's use this style select the progress bar and copy select the visual row and paste it so now select the whole row and 
make this auto and make it center line okay so let's repeat the process we just need to copy this and paste it inside and paste it inside okay so let's again make it auto layout center and let's select this and make it auto layout and center okay so this was the today challenge day 7 setting page design and uh, hope you like the process if you like it let me know in the comments and also if you have any question regarding the process send me in the comment section i will answer all the questions thank you